In football, the legs get a real workout, especially the knees. The knees are the body's most important shock absorber. It's one of the main things they're designed to do. Hi, I'm Dr. Max Gomez, and this is CONCACAF's Winner's Health, your football source for keeping players healthy and in the game. A football player's knees absorb a tremendous amount of stress, which is not much of a problem when knees are young. The knee's shock-absorbing ability, however, begins to diminish through normal aging and the accumulation of wear and tear over time. This is why older players are more likely to suffer painful meniscus tears, or torn cartilage, as a lot of people call it. The menisci, that's plural for meniscus, are two crescent or C-shaped pads of tough cartilage that sit atop the shin bone or tibia with a medial meniscus on the inside of the knee and a lateral meniscus on the outside. The menisci act as shock-absorbing cushions between your upper and lower leg. Whenever you run, jump, land, or use your knees in any way, the menisci are critical, serving as a first line of defense against friction between the shin and thigh bones. Tests show that the menisci at times transmit up to 90% of the body's load. Having to handle this much force makes them uniquely prone to tearing. Kneeling, squatting, lifting something heavy, people tear menisci doing everyday things. In football, though, a torn meniscus frequently results from actions that forcefully twist or rotate your knee, like aggressively pivoting on a planted foot or making sudden stops and turns. Tears also typically occur if the knee overstraightens, hyperextends when landing, or overbends when tackling. Direct blows, of course, are always dangerous. While anyone of any age could tear a meniscus, it rarely happens to kids under the age of 10 and doesn't really become a major concern until a player gets into his or her late 20s or early 30s. And here's why. Meniscus tissue is mostly made up of a type of cartilage called fibrocartilage. In younger people, this cartilage is flexible and pliable, kind of like a new rubber tire. As we and it get older, however, the meniscus tissue weakens. It's drier, more brittle. It begins to develop small cracks in it, like an old rubber tire. This loss of elasticity in the meniscus tissue makes it much more likely to tear under stress. The seriousness of a meniscal tear depends on several factors, including size, shape, and location of the tear. All three of these factors play a critical role in determining how your meniscus tear will be treated. Smaller meniscal tears may present with very minimal symptoms, while larger tears can present with serious symptoms such as locking and catching, which require immediate surgery. At the moment you tear a meniscus, you may even feel a pop, a sign to stop playing and see a doctor. Some players will try to play through the pain. That's a mistake. A torn meniscus left untreated can lead to trouble down the road, perhaps even contributing to the onset of arthritis. Remember how the meniscus pads act as cushions between your shin and thigh bones, serving as a first line of defense against friction? Well, the final line of defense is a thin layer of cartilage called articular cartilage that covers the ends of these bones to protect them against damaging bone-to-bone -bone friction. If the meniscus tissue is seriously torn, the articular cartilage at the ends of the bones gets worn away. This wearing away of the articular cartilage can lead to pain and inflammation, symptoms of arthritis, osteoarthritis. Not everyone who tears a meniscus will suffer from osteoarthritis. Other factors are involved, like heredity and the nature of the tear itself. Location impacts healing by if, in fact, the tear is on the outside of the meniscus and it's small, it has a high probability of healing. If it's on the inside or the central portion of the meniscus and is fairly large, the blood supply in that area is not very good and, as a consequence, those do not heal. When tears occur in the central portion of the meniscus, some type of surgery will likely be considered. Your doctor can suggest one of a number of different possible surgery techniques. The surgical options for meniscus tears really depend on the tear type and pattern. The smaller, what we call longitudinal tears, which is one tear, we could repair that by suturing it or using some type of an implant. For the bigger tears, where there's just a flap, we remove the damaged tissue. 
If it's a situation that there's so much meniscus damage that we can't do either, then sometimes we actually have to transplant or replace the meniscus tissue. So when you have these kind of problems, the important thing is you see your doctor and you get the information as to what the best treatment for your problem is. And while you're at it, you can discuss taking approved supplements like glucosamine and chondroitin sulfate, even vitamin C. Your doctor may also recommend injections of hyaluronic acid to lubricate and recondition your articular cartilage. The best way to prevent knee injuries from occurring in the first place is to educate and prepare your knees for play. Strengthening exercises that give your muscles a greater ability to stabilize your knee joint and assist the meniscus in absorbing impact. Stretching exercises that loosen tight muscles to improve the alignment of the knee. Balance and coordination training that improve responses to unexpected actions or surprises in the field that help the body automatically react in ways that protect your knees. And working on better knee mechanics for jumping and landing. These exercises will also serve the player who's already torn a meniscus. Though in that case, it's important to focus on non-weight-bearing exercises that keep the foot off the ground so as not to re-aggravate the knee. It's a fact of life that as we get older, our bodies change. That's no reason to stop doing the things we love best. When it comes to football, it just helps to be a little wiser in how we practice and play. It's a good thing then that wisdom also comes with age. Thanks for joining us for CONCACAF's Winner's Health. Take care and stay healthy. For more information about meniscus tears, please visit concacaf.com.